I sit alone in my four cornered room eating a wing dinner. <laughs> Let's celebrate our music here before it's too late. Uh. Yeah. Let's get it. Yo, EMD. Yeah, what's up, man? They go that girl they call Roxanne. She's all stuck up. Why are you say that? Cause you wouldn't give a guy like me no rap. But she was walking. What's up, everybody? Encyclopedia Hip Hop Podcast. I don't know if you can hear me smiling through the mic, but this episode has been in the making, long time overdue. One of the whole reasons why I even did this podcast damn near 10 years ago. (laughs) Today's episode, finally, The Roxanne Wars. I'm going to keep it brief as possible, but full transparency. This is one of the reasons why I started to love hip hop, period. Um, let's, let's just get into it. Let's just get into it. This is, this is what happened. This is what happened from the perspective of a little kid on the streets just listening to music every day. Um, this is not a, I interviewed this person, I talked to this person on Twitter, I read this in a book. This is from what happened when, as I saw it and heard it. 1984, UTFO dropped Hanging Out. It was a single it's a 12 inch single. I had it. Okay, my uncle bought it, but I had it. Um, and it was hanging out, and then it said featuring the candy wrapper, which I thought was a new rapper. It wasn't. They were just rhyming about candy. But the B side was Roxanne, Roxanne. It's a B side. It was the throwaway. It was the something to put on the other side of the album instead of an instrumental. That's all it was. But this song was about a girl, all three members, except for, I don't know why Mixmaster Ice didn't want to try to date her. But anyway, it was about a, a girl that all three members of UTFO tried to get with. And this was the days of story rhymes. This is when you had to have a story rhyme where you wasn't dope. But this song got on the radio and everything. Nobody cared about hanging out. <laughs> Not a person. I mean, I liked it, but the populace, no one cared. This song was on the radio and everything. Also, Roxanne, Roxanne, the educated rapper's verse, Super Flames. It's still one of my favorite verses. The educated rapper MD will never fess. So when I met her, I wasted no time, but stuck up Roxanne, paid me no mind. She thought my name was Barry, I told her it was Gary. She said she didn't like it, so she told to call me Barry. She said she loved to marry, my baby she would carry. And if he had a baby, he'd name the baby Harry. Her mother's name is Mary, which is really quite contrary. Her face is very hairy, and you can say he's scary. She does him not every, our father's a fairy. His wife's a secretary, and son's a military. To force him to a list against him wasn't voluntary. His daughter's name is Sherry, his son's a Tom Jerry. Sherry had the flu, but it was only temporary. Back in January, or was it February? But every time I say this, right? It makes me kind of weary It's only customary To get this commentary Some say it's bad Some say it's legendary You're such an all you want To try your local library you never find a rhyme Like this in any dictionary But do you know After all that All I've received Was a pat in my back That's that what you get. It happened to me Ain't that right Mixed So Now I'm going to tell you The story That I've seen Or heard 
at the time. Not the story that was on that awful Netflix show. The story that I remember was UTFO canceled a show in Queens, or they no-showed. They either canceled it, or they were supposed to be there and just didn't show up. Then Roxanne made a song dissing them using the Roxanne, the name Roxanne Shantae. So, uh, you know, Lolita. <laughs> she, um, so, she made a song calling herself Roxanne Shantae dissing them. So, at, at Marley's place. Guys, and you know that's true. Uh, let me tell you and explain them all to you. I met this dude with the name of a hat. I didn't even walk away. I didn't give him no rap, but then he got real mad and he got a little tired. If he worked for me, you know he would be fired. His name is Ken Go, and that is true. He ain't got money and he ain't got the loot. And every time that I see him, he's always a begging. And all the other girls that he's always trying to lay it every time that he's he So she used the beat instrumental from Roxanne Roxanne and she did a freestyle over the track one take and they cut and, and and put it on the radio mr magic and it blew up people just kept requesting it that's all people wanted to hear i mean you got to think about it it's a little girl her voice so young she was killing it the roxanne roxanne show i mean song was the hottest song out at the time and she dissed them it wasn't really a lot of disses it was damn sure no diss songs so this blew up she recorded in molly Mom's apartment so since it was blowing up utfo and and the record labels like yo we gonna need all the money from that song because you're using our beat right so it's not this, this is not sample days it was just yo that's our beat so run us the money and um, so they were like, yo, we getting mad money off of this. And no. So they redid the song with a different beat. No UTFO instrumental. Well, my name is Roxanne. I don't you know. I just a cold rock a party and I do this show. I said I met these three guys and you know it's true. Uh, let me tell you and explain them all to you. I met this dude with the name of a hat. I didn't even walk away. I didn't give him no rap. But then he got real mad and he got a little tired. If he worked for me, you know he would be fine. He wears a kango and that is cute. But he and ain't so got the money. The difference was the obviously the beat and they had a, a, a chorus. But this version didn't have all the cursing. <laughs> so when she freestyled, she was cursing, cursing. And again, <laughs> little girl, just, just being belligerent was great but um so they got out the cursing and flowed a little bit better because it was time to write and re-record it it wasn't a freestyle so you had the street version and then you had the record version so that was blowing up and that was blowing up more than the utfo the original roxanne roxanne so you, you gotta understand a female wasn't doing anything like this. We had Shaw Rock, Shouts to Original, but there was no woman rhyming like this. Dissing people, had the hottest song out, et cetera, et cetera. This is three years before Light and Latifah and them. Three. Shantae was 14. <laughs> she was 14, right? So, like, in perspective, three years before Light and Latifah. Salt and Pepper didn't drop for another two years, just about. Uh -huh. So, UTFO then went and found a woman that could rhyme and named her the real Roxanne. This was Elise Jack. And she made a song called The Real Roxanne. And that song was dope. That song was very dope. She flipped the educated rapper's verse perfectly. Now, educated rapper, I'ma give you a fit. Cause when you tried to talk to me, you was full of shit. You see, the truth and the fact is that I don't need you. Your IQ is really 1.2. I don't like your rap cause your rap is dead. Educated rapper, no sense in your head. So when you met me, I paid you no mind. 
dictionary breath, you're one of a kind. You said your name was Gary, didn't choose to call you Barry, didn't care if your name was Mother Matter Harry. I choose to call you Sunny because you have a tummy. My father's not a furry, you're the one who walks with funny. Your nose is always runny, you look like Bugs Bunny. All your raps are old, ancient as a mummy. Your house is so slummy, your clothes are so bummy. But now with your hit record, all I want is your money. Educated rapper, you ain't nothing but a dummy. You try to be chummy, or you play as Jim Rummy. I bet make a luck to you, must really be crummy. You say it's customary to give you commentary. I say it's crap, you're full of strawberries. Your rap is so weak, and your face is so scary. You always find a rap like yours in any cemetery. So do you know you didn't even pass? All you received was a kick in the ass. So she was dissing UTFO too, but they put her on the album, basically trying to get the buzz and the money that Shantae was getting. Because you got to remember, this was a single. UTFO didn't have an album out. They weren't. They just had a single. Boom, where UTFO? Here's hanging out. And people were like nah, nah, nah. But this Roxanne joint. So then they had to hurry up and put together an album. Then they found out a Roxanne put her on the album. This. All of this happened in the same year. This is crazy. So, so by then, Roxanne Shantae made Queen of the Rocks. Let me tell you a story, yes. How I got to be so fresh. It happened one day, you know, when I was sitting upstairs listening to the radio. They said there is a contest. We'll give the most money to the girls who's the best. I said, you let me enter, cause I know I am down. And everybody knows it was all around town, huh? And when I entered, I came in first place. You should have seen a reaction on my face. They said, yo, yo, one, or with that song, we're gonna call y'all back. So don't wait too long. So I waited about a week, a week or two. And then they finally called me, but the song was too good. I could not remember not a word that I said, cause you know that night I made it up on my head. Yeah, they said, what mentioning you UTFO. Could you write this for me? So I said, yeah, you know, we got our own Roxanne. Yeah, I seen that girl. She got a face like a man. something that they didn't want to miss. Then I had a far, far way to go. I went a little bit of houses with UTFO. About saying, yes, that I'm Roxanne. And then they got so mad. They said, shit, goddamn. She is making the top of the charts. You know, she didn't even break a record. She broke a heart. I said, yo, can't go. I'm so sorry. He said, I'm going up there. I'm going to play a charm. I said, well, you do that. Because you know that you're chilling. And everything you know, yo, I am always willing. He said, yeah, you know, we got our own Roxanne. So, I mean, this is a soap opera right now on the streets. If you think somebody made a song and somebody else made a diss song and a diss and back, this, this is crazier. So, then Shantae made Bite This. Because you because biting you TFO, blah blah blah. So QTFO. Alright, so because they were saying that um Shantae bit their beat and that's the only reason why she blew up, so she made a song called Bite This. Like, you know, fuck you. Talk about how they're so devoted. Take my rhymes, you swore they wrote it. You wanna keep biting? You wanna persist? What should they do, Molly Mall? Then UTFO made a song called Calling Her a Crab. It was called Roxanne Roxanne Part 2. So that was this in Roxanne Shantae on that album. Hey, stupid. Yeah, you Roxanne. Get your face out the garbage can. Don't try to hide now since we made you a star. Come out and face it like the man you are. I know. It, it's, it's confusing. Let me let me help. <clears throat> so, it went. Roxanne Roxanne. UTFO. Roxanne's Revenge. Shantae. The real Roxanne. The real Roxanne with UTFO. Then Queen of Rocks. Shantae Rocks on. Shantae. Calling her a crab, UTFO. Bite this, Shantae. This was six songs in a month. <laughs> just about. Just a couple, like a couple of months, right? So this is blowing up all over the streets. Every neighborhood, record stores, playing a Roxanne something. So 
the real Roxanne, Elise Jack, stopped working with UTFO. Now, at the time, I heard different reasons. I heard because someone on the label didn't think she was attractive enough because she was kind of dark skin. And back then in, in the early 80s, dark skin wasn't in. I thought she was attractive. But then I heard that she was too young at the time, which I thought was bullshit because Shantae was 14. <laughs> was she seven? But anyway, um, she stopped working with them. And then, the U, then UTFO got a new real Roxanne. This is the light skin one that everyone probably that knows hip hop knows about. Very attractive. We were like, whoa. Because you gotta understand, early 80s, light skin. If you're a light skin with curly hair, come on. So, but so they got a new real Roxanne, but she never made a song dissing anyone. As a matter of fact, she made a song called Romeo and said, Sparky D was her friend in it. Oh, so I forgot about that part. So, all right. So, Sparky D made a song called Roxanne, You're Through. This is Shantae. Like people that had nothing to do with either one of them jump, started jumping into it. Sparky D made a song called Roxanne, You're Through. gates were open so okay there was the parents of Roxanne <laughs> these are songs by Lacey Lace and Jigolo Tony who dissed UTFO and Sparky D they were on Roxanne's side I am the father of Roxanne and rapping on the mic what I command you've heard the rap of Roxanne's revenge but the true revenge has just started to for your mouth runs like water. Why did you have to make a rap about my daughter? She was walking down the street by herself. Mind and her business didn't need no help. Then saw three clowns by a tree. Can't go ice and EMD. This is a battle, so you better think twice. And now you're finna hear it from my wife. Well, Roxanne is my daughter, and I am Mary. I'm the one that you said looks so scary. Well, when you get off talking about me, sissy five rapper and EMD. Well, you're a sucker MC. And that's the truth. You know you're just real sloppy and you're wearing proof. Yo, Kango and Dr. Ice. Your dad wears tickle and your mama old spice. What you call my son? Then it was Tom Roxanne's Jeff doctor. This is a song. Who claimed Roxanne was a man. So they were on the UTFO side. I am the real man. I am Dr. Fred. Ask to submit. To tell you Roxanne is my patient. So for the boys, I will stay this. I'm Roxanne, one psychiatrist. Then she see walking to my office, sat in the chair, and then looked at me with the evil glare. I said, so, she said, so, a doctor, don't you know? I'm the queen of the crops, the queen of the soakers. I'm Roxanne, Mrs. Collaborator. And guys bite on me like a fish on beta from New York, D.C., and to L.A. So DJ scratch it in a vicious way. She said, I was the Then, yo, my little sister, Roxanne's brother... <laughs> This UTFO, Sparky D, and the Dr. Fresh guy that made Roxanne's doctor. And then rapping Roxy was Roxanne's sister. And I knew that it was my sister. And I was getting hit. Now I got you at the bottom of my list. You should have thought about what you talked about. I'm here to shock you all, and there's no doubt. I'm Roxy, the lady that is greater. I'm equal to my sister that 
is to Devastator, the R-O-X-Y, yeah, that's me. Roxy is to I-B, and as you all know, I'm really fine, but my sister and I are on the top of the line. You all talk about yeah. me, don't try to hide. <laughs> this shit was crazy. Then it was a song, Roxanne's Man by the Invasion, claiming he was Roxanne's boyfriend, dissing Kango from the UTFO. Then G-Man made a song called Roxanne is My Girl. Then um, you had Roxanne's Baby. And then... <laughs> the dirt sag rap about Roxanne. What a hell of a lie. The errors are ran. Some blind MC said she was a man. I was down, too down by my reputation. I bust her out. It was my obligation. Did you take her to the feet? Just like we planned. But I knocked her up. Roxanne, Roxanne. Roxanne's Real Fat by the Potato Chips. I was walking home from school one Monday afternoon. My stomach started growling, so I had to assume. I'm hungry, I know it. Be cool, hang tight. So I ran to the burger stand to grab a quick bite. And when I got there, you wouldn't believe this big collard green eating thing staring at me. She had a large tummy. She looked just like your mommy. And one thing for sure, this girl really was hungry. She, the rocks, that big fat ox, picked something off the ground and put it in her mouth. I said, oh... Did y'all see that? You couldn't help see it because she's so damn fat. Roxanne's real fat. Then Roxanne's that? a man that said Roxanne was a guy that turned into a woman after, let's say, getting assaulted in prison. Check this out. She used to be a dude around the block, down by law, so that my rock, hanging on the corner with a can of old feet, down with the crew, including me. To play ball in the street. Me and my man before he turned sweet. He got into some trouble and he went to jail. Let me catch my breath before I tell my tale. Speaking of tale, check this out. This is how Roxanne got turned out. He went into the shower and he dropped the soap. So hold boys if you go bring soap on the road. If you mess up and let it fall, just rinse off yourself and keep your back to the wall. Don't bend over, you understand, or you'll be like Roxanne, Roxanne. He got assaulted in prison and turned into Roxanne. <laughs> there was over 100 answer response songs in a year. It was ridiculous. To live through this was crazy. Every Yo, you heard the new Roxanne? Like what? Roxanne's a man. Roxanne's doctor. Their parents. Sister. Brother. <laughs> it was wild and so then um the final word made a song called no more roxanne's please it got so bad people were making songs about roxanne saying please don't make any more roxanne's songs. No, no, no more roxanne. yo curtis t yo what's up man you never know, heard another record about roxanne and i'm all fed up why you say that because everybody thinks she's where is that the way the first came my Um, then so the final the final word made no more Roxanne's please and then Z Lee made a song called Roxanne No More. <laughs> And then, um, fuck. The, the Corner Boys made the saga of Roxanne. Then Roxanne, spelled R O C K S A N N, 
Hey, Roxanne, she died. <laughs> Talking Jay, and then Roxanne's Girls was a song. It it was ridiculous, and I I loved all of this. But there was more. So in '86, um, Blowfly, and if you know Blowfly, it was Blowfly meets Roxanne. Georgia's senators, Russian prime minister, were defeated by a pussy sensation. With an oversized click and a pussy made the lick, she could out for woman or man. But a pussy would flop on a powerful cock the day that blowfly met Roxanne. You should have been there. Then, then, and this was 80, before that, in 85, Roxanne and Sparky D, because Sparky D made the first song that wasn't UTFO or Shantae dissing them. Roxanne, you're through. Uh, Sparky D and the Playgirls. They went one on one on an album called Round One. The reason why that is important to me is because, so I'm living through all of this Roxanne stuff. This, this was the greatest shit ever. So I had some money and I went to the record store and I had, I had money to buy a record. And so up on the wall, it was Shantae and fucking Sparky D. Now, here's the thing. This is also very important. Through all of this, through all of this, no one knew what they looked like. (laughs) We only knew what UTFO looked like on the back of their album when it finally dropped. When, when, and then they were on the cover of Hanging Out it was a small picture. It was on the cover of Hanging Out. No one knew what Shantae looked like. Because they, they didn't make the videos until well after all of this shit. So, anyway, I saw what this to say. I go to the record store. The record's on the wall. So, it's Shantae and Sparky D. I know it because it says Shantae and Sparky D at the top. And i never seen Sparky D before. Until that very moment. And they had boxing gloves on, and they was facing each other. And we said, "Run!" I said, "Oh shit!" I hadn't. I, it was a Roxanne album. I needed it, so I grabbed it, I flipped it over, and I looked at him. And it didn't seem like it was very much Shantae and Sparky D going back and forth. It was just like two songs, and it was a whole bunch of shit I already heard. <laughs> that let me check that out i flipped it over it was it was a guy standing with some jordans on and a kango and i said well this looks cool then i read all of the songs that was on it It it's like my radio and and dear yvette i'm like oh yvette they're talking about another girl i need this it was ll cool j's radio it was the first time i ever even seen him um and so i bought that and that was the first album, hip hop album, I bought. 
UTFO's album was purchased for me by my mother because I was all in to this UTFO Roxanne battle. I told you, this is kind of the reason why I started loving hip hop. Anyway, back to this stuff. Roxanne battled Busy B in 85 at the Battle for World Supremacy. And like, it was like a whole, you know, bracket. She she battled Fu Kwan from Stetson Sonic. So she battled Busy B at the championship. Again, you gotta understand, she's 15, and she taking out grown men freestyle battling in like arenas. <laughs> One, two, three, hit it. I was raised in the sun, I'm strong as an ox. I'm kind of slim, trim, but I'm fine as a fox. And right about this time, I just want y'all to know I choose the life that they call a disco. So three. get up on your feet and let your fingers pop because the busy bee is here and I'm ready to rock. And before Four. I go and before I quit, I'm going to give some more two, of this busy three, bee. Hit yeah. it. One, two, three, hit it. I'm a devastating MC, and that's a fact. Never going to rock, always going to do that. Yes, two. known to rap and be the top of my class. Just to bust all the other MCs on their ass. My three. rhymes are deaf, could never be weak. Every word I say is definitely unique. Four. Don't you know that I can rap and do it very well? And One, I tell two, Busy Be to go three, to hell. Hit it. And I am a man with a master plan. I make him turn tricks with the wave of my hand. I two. am the man that the rock on the phone. And and everybody knows she won. But Curtis Blow wouldn't vote for a woman, so she lost, she, air quote, lost the battle for world supremacy. I wish they still did this. If they still did this, a lot of people's favorite rappers, she, they wouldn't show up. They'd be like LeBron James not showing up to the dunk contest ever. They wouldn't show up. But this was a thing. That was a lot. Um, I mean, Shantae had her album eventually in like 88 it was it was far it, they waited too long for that the real Roxanne dropped two albums um, Sparky D and the Playgirl had some joints but that's the story that was the story of how that stuff started and all of the answers and back and forths um, it's one of the pivotal parts of me loving hip hop I had to do this show um, it's probably a ton of things that I'm even leaving out. I'm just doing this off the top, recollecting. <laughs> um, um, just, I'm just doing this off the top, trying to remember as much as I can. Uh, but what a fucking time. Thank you for listening. And uh, Roxanne, rock on. I'm out. Hip-hop. Matter of fact, yo, I'm going to start calling off names. First up is Latifa. You roll up and I'm going to smoke that ass like Reef. Cause you ain't never in like been a star to me So the fuck out trying to go R&B Now that shit is shady You say ladies first, well I'm the first lady And all y'all hoes are phony Try to get flippin', I'ma rip you and your girl Moni You're illegitimate, trying to get a little bit And I'm about sick of that Moni in the middle shit Your album cold garbage Had one good jam, now you think you a star, bitch Breaking your neck